December 2018. We have tried to put a comparison there. We know you have seen that figure before of December 31st, 2017. Okay, so the debt stock did increase uh, by 12.25%. Uh, in Naira terms, as at December 31st, 2017, it was at 21.725 trillion. Uh, by December 31st, 2018, it was 24.387 trillion Naira. Let me add that the figures here, as you would see, is the total public debt. So it includes the federal government's debt, the debt of the state governments, and the federal capital territory, and it includes both foreign and domestic. Okay, this table just speaks to where we are as well in terms of um, the ratio between uh, domestic and external, which we had uh, addressed earlier on. Uh, the next part we, we can speak, we'll get and explain uh, a bit, but maybe I should uh, say something about the reasons for the increase in the public debt. Uh, on the part of the federal government, uh, clearly there was a budget deficit of about 1.643 trillion naira. Okay, so all of that except 15 billion has been raised. So all of that is fully captured in the budget, in, this fig uh, in these figures. And we know that we borrowed externally and domestic in the domestic market as provided in the budget uh, to raise that money. So those, that figure has been fully captured. The other component, the other reason for the increase is that we issued uh, 331, about 331 billion of promissory notes to oil marketers and to uh, state governments. Some of you would have read about that in the paper, but let me just recap a bit. In uh, July 2017, the Federal Executive Council approved that uh, the government should settle inherited debt. So these were monies due to various categories of debtors, and you'll see some of them when we get there. But to explain these figures, I need to speak a bit to it. Okay, so it covered a wide range of, uh, of creditors that the government had been owing. Uh, those debts were simply outstanding in the books of the FGN more like hanging, but not captured in the debt stock because they had not been you know, issued as securities or recognized appropriately as they should. Okay, so, so those were presented to the Federal Executive Council. And then uh, after the Federal Executive Council approved, the National Assembly has been reviewing it. So why would it go to the National Assembly? Remember I said any public borrowing has to be approved by the National Assembly. So before the DMO can issue any instrument really, it has to be as, uh, approved by the National Assembly. So His Excellency the President presented it to the National Assembly and uh, they have been approving them in phases. There are about 10 or 12 categories of creditors. Uh, they've been approving them in phases. So in December 2018, we issued out of that. So it's what they approve that we pay, okay? Uh, we issued 331 billion, like we said. So that is reflected in the domestic debt of the federal government. And um, if you had looked at previous trends, you'd have seen that our domestic debt stock was reducing. In absolute terms, it was reducing. Why was it reducing? Because we were repaying some part of the domestic debt. So the graph was downwards. But with the issuance of uh, the promissory notes in December, it uh, grew a bit marginally by about 181 um, uh, billion naira. Otherwise, the trajectory that started from, I believe, 2017 would have continued. So the figures you have in slide seven are for the total public debt. 